PET-CT is the recommended method by the International Myeloma Working Group to assess patients with myeloma and other monoclonal hemopathies, such as solitary plasma cytoma, smoldering multiple myeloma, etc. So this is based on the fact that PET-CT is able to identify bone damage uh, in patients with a suspected monoclonal hemopathy. So it's a technique that it has to be done as a workup in a patient with, of course, with a solitary plasma cytoma to confirm the diagnosis and as well if you don't have an MRI available and as well you have to use it in a patient with a smoldering myeloma if you don't have an MRI again um, and if your regular x-ray um, uh, test is normal and uh, so th according to the recommendations of the International Myeloma Working Group as well based on the fact that PET-CT is able to detect changes in the uptake, in the metabolic activity of cancer cells, in this case of plasma cells, is the method recommended to assess treatment response. So, and we know now that PET has a prognostic value at different time points of, um, of uh, the treatment of patients with myeloma, and it's especially useful post-transplant, post autologous post stem cell transplantation, so to define the prognosis of patients um, in CR, in CR, in complete response, in conventional complete response. So since PET-CT is able to identify the presence of extramedullary disease and it's also able to identify changes in the uptake of cancer cells, so uh, I guess it's the complementary method to assess minimal residual disease in patients with myeloma. So, um, and we know now that uh, you know, the best prognosis associates with the uh, negativization of the residual disease both in the bone marrow and the bone marrow assessed with next generation flow, next generation sequencing or whatever you have available, but also outside of the bone marrow using an imaging technique such as PET-CT.